lesson in Japan is continuous gradual improvement with the involvement of all employees in the operations. Now we're going to apply Kaizen from Lean Manufacturing. We're going to apply Kaizen to Lean Logistics or Lean Warehousing Operations. In context of Lean Production, Kaizen means continuous improvement. The Kaizen philosophy is one of the most important principles in Lean Supply Chain Management Frameworks. Our, our culture of Kaizen delivers advantage direct to your bottom line. We need to embrace Lean Logistics principles and we have a unique approach that goes further. In Kaizen Warehousing, the application of Kaizen method and principles to Lean Logistics, we will align it to Lean Warehousing and Lean Logistics. As I have mentioned that Kaizen is a Japanese word that means change for the better or continuous improvement. It is a Japanese philosophy about processes that continuously improve warehouse operations, improving, involving all warehouse staff. Kaizen in logistics allows improvement to be made at different stages of the supply chain without jeopardizing the whole operation. That's why we have an example here of stages in logistics supply chain that we are going to improve later. There are eight ways in Kaizen principles applied in production now we're going to apply in Lean Logistics. What are these ways? Ways number one is considered to be defects, defects or items for reward. Number two, second ways is excess processing. Number three, overproduction. Number four, waiting time that cause delay. Number five, inventory. Number six is transportation. Number seven is motion and number eight is non-utilized talent. Now, let's go to these eight ways. How can we improve the logistics operation eliminating these eight ways? These eight ways are also existing in warehouse and logistics operations. Defects. We have also defects in warehouse and logistics. It can be damage to our products being returned by customers so we have to focus on product handling number two excess processing excess processing in logistics are these are the non-value added process or processes in logistics transaction we have to eliminate non-value added process in the value chain overproduction in lean manufacturing we may mean overstaff in lean logistics. We might be overstaffed or maintaining a lot of manpower with little requirements. Waiting time. Waiting time is a process that contributes to the delay or unnecessary lead time for the process of our transaction. Inventory. Inventory in Japan is considered to be evil. In lean manufacturing, inventory is evil. They have fixed production output that requires fixed number of materials and supplies. In the logistics process, in lean logistics, we consider this as non-moving inventories or overstock. These are the items not required by the customers and suddenly will resort to class B or go down to scrap. Transportation in lean manufacturing, transportation is waste. In lean logistics, transportation is waste. These are the multiple handling of products, transferring of one item to another location or products transferring it from one rack to another rack. These are considered to be unnecessary multiple handling. And transportation waste can also be considered that the trucks are traveling 
and with few items on it. In transportation and delivery, trucks and container vans should be at least 85% consolidated or full items inside. So, we can reduce the cost of delivery. So, consolidated delivery, we should maximize the use of transportation, trucks, and container vans. Motion. Motion. These are the unnecessary movement inside the warehouse. Motion. From lean manufacturing, unnecessary motion in lean logistics, we may consider the stock picking activity as the costliest activity in the warehouse operation. It requires a lot of motion, especially for hunt and search operation for items that could not be located or items that we cannot locate the storage area. So motion is stock picking or hunt and search operations. Non-utilized talent is the last and the least, last but not the least. Non-utilized talent. These are the human capital in the operation where we fail to extract the maximum benefits from their sets of skills. We have a lot of human capital in the operations who can contribute more to our operations. We were not able to ex extract the maximum benefits of their talents and skills. They are considered human capital, not only human resource, but human capital. Kaizen methodology is a form of life that can be applied to in many professional fields, including other departments. Kaizen is now a form of life that can be applied to all departments and functions like logistics. But we should be creative. How can we apply the Kaizen methods principle to lean logistics? I have described that now. We'll give you an example of Kaizen application. Now, an example is Kaizen in warehousing inbound transaction. How can we improve the inbound transaction using the Kaizen? Before, it would take 7 days to put the receipt inventories to storage. It would take 7 days to put the incoming shipments to racks because there are many processes that we can combine or eliminate. Number one, upon arrival of the incoming shipments, the receiving staff will check the documents and the status of the items. And we have to wait for 4 days for quality control assurance inspection. We have to wait for 4 days, so that will be 5 days. On the 6th day, they will put the proper labeling and QC tag on all materials. Finally, on the 7th day, final inspection comes in prior to the put away or prior to the location of the items to the racks. So, before it took them 7 days, to put on the racks the accepted materials. Now, it took us only one day or within the day upon arrival of the materials, the receiving clerk and the QC inspector will tandemly check the materials, approve it, and on the same day, they will put the label and they will put away the stock in their proper locations. The receiving clerk is multi-skilled and he is the one who who receive it and he is the one who will put it on stock of course with the assistance of the security guard and the quality control inspection from seven days to one day that is only in inbound i am just giving you this sample in outbound delivery i know there are so many process or processes that should be improved that should be eliminated or combined let us be creative enough in Kaizen methods principle applying it to logistics and other fields or functions in our organization. With this simple glimpse, I hope you learn the application of Lean Manufacturing Kaizen to 
Lean Logistics, the application of Kaizen methodologies and principles from Lean Manufacturing to Lean Logistics. Thank you very much and please subscribe. If you have any queries, please message me or comment below. Thank you and please subscribe. Thank you for learning. Oh.